welcome back to Two Chicks Going Green. In our last video, we quickly mentioned how keeping your dishwashing routine as sustainable as possible is one of the most important changes you can make in having a healthy and sustainable kitchen, but we didn't get into it in too much detail. So in today's video, I'd like to get into all the ways that you can make your dishwashing routine as sustainable as possible and talk about why it's so important, as well as give you my unsponsored review of one of the products that I use the most in the kitchen, which are those Drops dishwasher pods. And I'll tell you all about why I love using this product and why it's so much healthier and more sustainable than other similar products on the market nowadays. To start, Using a dishwasher, if you have access to one, of course, is much more sustainable than hand washing your dishes. And I guess I kind of knew this, but I never really knew the extent to which this was so much better to do until I did my research. An Energy Star certified dishwasher can use as little as three gallons of water per load versus about 27 gallons if you wash your dishes in the sink. That's about nine times as much. And this equates to saving around 5,000 gallons of water per year, assuming you run full loads in the dishwasher, of course, to make it count. So using a dishwasher along with natural plastic-free products is key to making sure that your dishwashing routine is as eco-friendly and toxin-free as possible, and it'll also save you money in the long run. Now, if you don't have access to a dishwasher or when it comes to items that you don't put in the dishwasher, for example, for me, that's pots and pans, anything that's made of bamboo or wood, um, you can still have an eco-friendly or dishwashing routine. In my house, we use an all natural liquid dishwashing soap, which we refill at our local zero waste shops. But if you don't have that option, you can use a dishwashing block, which is basically like a soap bar for dishwashing. And I still have a couple of these dishwashing blocks left because before I had access to those zero waste shops, I went ahead and bought a few. So I still have those on hand. And there are some things that I do like a lot about the dish blocks and some things that I don't so much. I do love that the dishwashing block lasts such a long time for the price since it's a concentrated product and that it also takes up very little space for the same reason. Now on the con side, I did find that it doesn't set up as much as the liquid stuff does and it works best with a dish brush instead of a natural sponge or a loofah that I use sometimes. So just keep that in mind if you're purchasing one of these blocks. And I'll link a couple of really good dishwashing blocks in the description below in case you are interested in buying one for yourself. Another action that you can be taking in your kitchen to ensure that your dishwashing routine is as sustainable as possible is to use only compostable and all naturally biodegradable dish scrubbing brushes as well as sponges and loofahs. Luckily nowadays, it's really easy to find these products. When it comes to conserving water and preventing water waste, you can scrub all of your dishes first and then rinse them all at the same time. And this will prevent so much water from being used unnecessarily. And on that note, let's get into those Drops Dishwasher Pods review. First off, a major advantage to using Drops Dishwashing Pods is that they don't contain plastic, rinse aids, phosphates, or dyes, which most store-bought brands do contain. And these toxins not only affect our health, but they also wash down the drain and end up in our waterways, affecting wildlife as well. Drops is also extremely transparent about the ingredients that are in their pods, whereas other brands don't always tell you what's in them, or if they do have their ingredients listed, there's some really iffy ingredients there that are known to cause serious health issues. Drops also has a really great EWG score, and if you don't know what that score is, we do have a video that is all about keeping toxic ingredients out of everyday products that you use in your home. So if you're interested in learning more about that EWG score and how to use that website to your advantage to keep a toxin-free home, make sure that you check that video out. I'll go ahead and link it in the description below. Something else that is really great about this product is that the packaging is completely plastic free. They even use plant dyes when they print on their boxes. This is what mine came packaged in for the first time that I got it before I started refilling it. Um, this box holds 32 pods and you can see how small it is. So we just keep it under our sink and it doesn't take up a lot of space, which is awesome. One quick note, and it does say this on the box, but don't get this wet. So if you have the possibility of your, like under your sink becoming moist or wet, the little individual pods will completely dissolve, like this part of it will dissolve. So definitely make sure that these are in a dry place or put them in a container so that they stay dry. When it comes to how well they work, I do find that they are extremely effective, more so than any other pods that I've ever tried um, or 
uh, dishwashing detergent that I've ever tried before. And this is just my opinion, of course, from having used them over the past year or so. Supposedly the drops don't require any pre-wash, which saves even more water. But sometimes if there's something really stuck on the plate or caked on, I definitely scrub it by hand because it won't come off in the dishwasher. But this is the case with any other product. We do soak and or rinse our plates quickly with a little water before putting them in the dishwasher. So I'm sure that this helps as well. And I'm sure that the dishwasher that you use will also play a part in how well your dishwashing goes with these pods. I have a three-year-old Samsung Energy Star rated dishwasher, so it's relatively new. And my favorite setting on it is to do auto and then I do the sanitize. The pods are also really great with glass and they effectively protect glasses from etching, cloudiness, and streaks. And I've noticed wine glasses come out looking really clear. The one thing that I have noticed though is that once in a while the insulated tumblers will come out of the dishwasher with a little bit of residue on them. And I'm not sure why that happens and it's rare, but all I do is rinse it off and that's it. And I must say I do jam pack the dishwasher. I'm an engineer and I can't help myself and my engineer brain can't shut off and I really it's like a weird little game for me to see how many dishes I can get in the dishwasher. Let me know if you do this as well so that I don't feel so weird. <laughs> um, but I only use one of the little pods per load and I haven't had an issue. I make sure that nothing's like completely covering something else. It works perfectly fine. Some studies were done where they also compared drops dishwasher detergent pods to other industry leading competitor products. And they were proven to have comparable spotting and filming performance. The main area where they're so much better than competitor brands though, is in their biodegradable packaging. The small pods are also perfectly designed to fit all machines, even compact European and apartment sized models. So if you have a small machine, don't worry, these will fit right in there. When it comes to ease of use, I find that the pods are just so, so easy. There isn't that like mental game that you have like with the powder detergents. Like I used to use the seventh generation one. I was always thinking, did I add too much? Did I add too little? Um, so really this prevents you from making those mistakes and from ending up with like a load that isn't perfectly washed or from overusing the product. So with the pods, I find that it's like just a no brainer. You just pop one of those in there and you're done. So I really, really love how easy they are to use. And when you shop for these, there are two scents available. One of them is the unscented, the one that I use and that most people prefer. And then there's the lemon scent. I'm not sure at what point it's supposed to smell, if it's when the dishes come out or when they're in there. But regardless, I've heard other people saying it really doesn't make a difference. Just my two cents. Huh, just caught that little, the two cents, two cents. Kind of bump. Um, just my two cents is just stick to the unscented. When it comes to the company, Drops is an amazing company that makes some other plastic-free, zero-waste products that are really healthy and natural, and they're located here in the United States. So you're supporting your local economy and you're also supporting a small green business that is trying to make a really big difference when it comes to our plastic waste problem. And this is something that we mentioned in a few of our videos that we should all be supporting these companies that are trying to make a difference so you can feel good when you buy their products as well. Pricing ranges depending on how you buy them. If you buy them at the zero waste shop, they can cost around 40 cents a pod. And if you buy them online, price is dependent on box size as well as whether you subscribe or not. You can save a lot more money if you buy a larger amount. Um, us personally, like we're a two person household in my house. So we don't run the dishwasher that often, maybe twice a week. But if you're running it very often, like daily or something like that, then getting one of these subscriptions might be a really good idea to save some money that way. And pricing can range from about 25 cents all the way to 40 cents per pod, which is actually cheaper or similar to other brands that are on the market that aren't even natural and that contain plastic. And I absolutely love that you can find the Drops dishwasher pods at lots of zero waste stores. I've been checking out a few different zero waste stores whenever I travel to a different city and I see that there's a shop around there because I want to see what kind of products they carry. And I've noticed that a lot of them are carrying the Drops dishwasher pods, which I find to be amazing. So if you have a zero waste shop near you, make sure and check out and see if they're carrying these products. But if you don't have access to a refill shop, you can go ahead and buy them on Earth Hero and they ship completely plastic free. And you can use our discount code for 10% off of your purchase. And the link for that will be in the description below. And the first time that I bought them, I actually bought them on Earth Hero myself. So in conclusion, in my personal opinion, I think that the Drops dishwasher pods are a must as an addition to your sustainable and healthier kitchen. 
And on that note, that's about it for this video. I hope that you liked it. And if you did, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up. We really appreciate every like on our videos. Um, also, if you really like this video and you'd like to buy me a coffee, uh, you can do that on our Kofi page. I will link it in the description below. You can also just give us moral support. And if you have any questions or comments for me, I would love to hear from you. So please drop those in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I hope that you do. We have all sorts of sustainable living type videos, other eco product reviews, eco challenges, eco gift ideas. And we are also doing a top 10 zero waste swap series right now that we're really excited about. So make sure that you join our channel and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.